road is getting shorter. The inauguration of President-elect Obama is just eight days away now, and Americans are lining up to witness this historic event. CBS News correspondent Thalia Asuras brings us the story of the hardest ticket in town. In about a week, the world will watch as Barack Obama becomes the 44th president. And on the D.C. Mall, witnessing the swearing-in could be at least a million people attending through sheer luck, a special gift, or dogged determination. It was the luck of the draw at many congressional offices. New York Senator Chuck Schumer was deluged by 150,000 entries. 175 people hit the historic jackpot. I'm just thrilled and honored to have the privilege to be there and see such history take place. The Branch Brothers of Tennessee were picked by their grandmother. This is their history. Who had secured tickets early and surprised them at Christmas. I screamed a little when I saw the when I saw when I opened the envelope. If you have a ticket for the ceremony there at the Capitol and you're on the outer edge of the first 100,000 ticket holders, you'll be here around First Street. On the fringe of the 240,000 ticket holders, this is your spot, almost half a mile away, near Fourth Street. And without a ticket, you could end up here, almost two miles away, near the Lincoln Memorial. The end of the Capitol, all the way to the Lincoln Memorial, will be open to the public for the first time. And people will be able to stand together, be pretty cozy if they all show up, uh, and witness the swearing in on 10 jumbotrons. That's good enough for the ticketless, but hopeful folks. Well, we've been Democrats for a long time. Like these diehard Democrats from Texas. And we might be disappointed, but we'll, we'll go without the tickets if necessary. And those determined to get here by hook or by crook, like Ryan Bowen cycling all the way from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I wanted to get to this inauguration because it means something special. An inauguration that's expected to draw an unprecedented number of witnesses to history in the making. Thalia Asuras, CBS News, Washington.